Hello to everyone, today we are going to introduce the new update of Rehub theme and WordPress 5.8. This update is the first step to full site editing option and our team gives you possibility to test this innovative functionality among first users. Okay, let's start. Once you edit any of posts on your site, you can find new template section in right area. It's set to be default when you open post. It means that site will use regular predefined post layouts of theme which you can select in post layout section below. Each post can have own template and post layout. If you don't touch any settings in post, site will use default post layout which you can select in customizer. There are many predefined layouts, but in this video we will explain how to build a completely new custom template to take control over each element on page. Okay, let's try new template option. For this, click to make new template in right section. You will get access to template system. It's like site constructor where you have control over everything on page. Each block has also own set of additional options and you can add several type of blocks, like layout blocks, design blocks and theme blocks. In most cases, you will use special type of Gutenberg blocks, which I call getter blocks. They retrieve dynamic information of your post and your site. For example, site logo which you can set in customizer. Theme blocks will get information from your post. When you click on your block, you will get additional panel with some options for more advanced control of design or settings. For example, here I want to change size of my post title and make it bigger. Also, you can change colors in most of elements. You can add or remove any of element on page when you click the plus icon. You can use navigator if it's hard for you to select block. You can set different position of all blocks with drag and drop or with arrow buttons. Also we added a lot of ready dynamic blocks like hot meter, thumb counter, offer buttons and post offer price section. Let's discuss very important blocks to control your space and structure of post. These two blocks are columns block and group block. Both of them are working as containers and you can place other elements inside them. When you add columns block on page, you can add columns inside. Each column has own spacing and a line option, also you can add different background to each column. Don't forget that you can see structure of your template in Navigator. This is very useful when your page becomes very complex. You can set static width to each of your column or clean width value and column will take all available space. We use this to build our three column post layout. First and last columns have definite width and central column with content doesn't have width value, so it's stretched to take whole available space. We added many additional options for all layout blocks and you can find them in advanced tab. For example, you can hide group on different screens. Here, I duplicate whole header section and hide one group on desktop and another group on mobile. You can do this for each separate column or for whole group and columns block. Let's see how it works on site. If you open site from small resolution, 
you can find groups that have option to be visible only on mobiles. We recommend always to keep attention on your column's elements. Sometimes they look great on desktop but very ugly on mobiles. And we added some special options to fix this easily. Usually, I do next steps. First of all, disable left align option on images if you have them. Then, in each column, enable center align option for mobiles. I think it looks great now. Sometimes, a line is working not as expected. In this scenario, try to enable stacked option for mobiles in parent column settings. Another important thing to keep attention is left and right padding. Always use group wrapper around your main columns or content. You can see that content can look bad if it has no some spacing from border of browser. And it's easy to wrap your columns. Simply select them and transform to group. You can see that we have group around our columns and we can add left and right padding now. Also, I recommend to add anchor to group. This will make more easier navigation among all of your blocks. Another important option of group is that you can set general width of inner elements inside group, so, content will be always centered in view. Also, you can make sticky any element on scroll. You can enable sticky option to whole column or just group of elements. For this, select elements which you want to make sticky and transform them to group, then, you can make group as sticky. And another great option of group block which we added recently is style option where you can enable shadow and spacing. Select blocks which you want to make as box, transform to group and select shadow style and add spacing. Let me show you also another very powerful block, meta getter. It can be used to retrieve any value which is saved in your post meta taxonomy user meta or as attribute. You can attach prefix and labels, icons and colors. Of course, you can change all font sizes and spaces. In my scenario, I also add icon background. This will make icon a small rounded box. Don't forget to add some space between blocks. Another example where you can use this is getting taxonomy, like category, tags or even custom taxonomy. Now, let me show you how to place two blocks close to each other and in center in the same time. 
you need to select blocks and convert them to columns. Now, remove unwanted column and set a lines for inner elements. Next step is removing width in columns. And finally, don't forget to enable mobile text align. We need also to set some padding in bottom so it will look much better on mobiles. Post Meta Getter can be used not only in Template Editor, but also in new powerful query block. When you make template, you can build your inner post layout. Post query block can be used to build your archives. Add it on page and start to customizing. You can change place of any element. Once you add or remove something from one item, other items will be automatically updated. To make this block better, we added a lot of improvements and ready styles. For example, boxed styles and height styles for images. To add extra spacing, you can use spacer block. And of course, you can use meta getter to get meta values of your posts. This can be useful if you want to add extra values to your post loop. As you remember, you can use MetaGetter block to get taxonomy values, for example, categories. There is also post category block, but MetaGetter has more custom options because it allows to add icons and labels. If you use post offer section, you can also get price values. Finally, query block has a lot of filter options which you can investigate. For example, you can set definite number of items in loop and set them to be working as scrollable carousel block. Thank you for watching this video. This was the first in our new playlist of new features of Gutenberg. We recommend to test and investigate this new experimental option. There are many cool things under the hood and we will introduce them in future videos. Subscribe to our channel and God bless you and your sites.